We were interested in the idea of the hospital and what role the hospital played in Tewkesbury in World War I. We spent the last three months researching real life stories from Tewkesbury and members of the youth theatre who come from Tewkesbury brought stories that they had of their grandfathers or grandmothers or great grandmothers even um, and those stories have been used in this show. So. The way the piece works is the audience walks through the whole building. They see backstage, they see outside, they see in places that they might not expect to see in the theatre. And we put work in the spaces that let people think about how people lived in that time, what experiences they had. The show starts in a, in a conventional way, really, in the Auditorium of the Roses. Um, and the audience finds themselves at a review fundraiser for the Tewkesbury Hospital um, in the early 1900s. Boil beef and carrots, boil beef and carrots. That's the stuff for your Derby cow. Makes you fat and it keeps you well. Don't live like vegetarians on stuff they give to parrots. stuff from Tewkesbury because people just like just like you. Um, it brings it a bit closer yeah, to home. Yeah. Yeah. Well with it being a site specific piece we needed to make it really immersive so the audience and the actors really felt like they were in World War One community hospital basically. Yeah. Transformed yeah. the whole theatre into an immersive space. Um, based around the Cheeksbury Community Hospital as well, uh, which played a big part, and the Mitten Manor as well, that did a lot for the war hospitals and the effort in general. The thing about the project was a couple of days ago when all of the kids were in their costumes using the set and using the space and it was just really rewarding to see that our yeah. vision that we started with back in February um, came to life really. Yeah, definitely. And that they all really liked it and we were having fun yeah, yeah. in the space. Definitely. Well, I think it works really well. The whole building's been designed um, and the young people have worked incredibly hard. Some of them will do their scenes 36 times over the run and they have committed really, really well to this project and it's been fantastic. And it's been fantastic seeing the staff in the building respond, staff coming in in costume, offering to volunteer, learning the songs um, and seeing how the whole team that we've been working with has really come together. It's been an absolute joy to work on. This way. Five foot nine. Five foot four. Way! I'm short. Arms up. Arms up, please. 36 inches. 37 inches. <laughs> Attention! Quick march! Left, right, left, right. Mother's duty is obedience. Obedience is our duty. Our first duty is obedience. I want to fight on the front. I have experience with firearms. I used to go on hunt with my father when I was younger. 
and I could blow a pheasant's brain out from a hundred yards away. Never miss. We will be educating you on an operation that we'll be later carrying out on a soldier who's been brought back from the front line, Captain Leslie Phillips. He's been brought back due to a strangulated hernia, which will need to be operated on right away. By 1912, we were happily married. As the years went by, our connections grew stronger. In 1915, we started volunteering at the Red Cross Hospital in Shipsbury. My regiment was sent to the Second Battle of Passchendaele. I was scared. Worried. Worried I would never see my wife again. But we've got to look ahead and save as many lives as possible. They've discovered a new gas, and they call it phosgene. Its effects are very similar to that of chlorine, except more potent, and can be breathed in at a much smaller concentration. Farewell, farewell, my own true love. Without the training that Sarah, the likes of Susie, etc., have given us, um, I would I would have never been able to like fulfil my dream. And this has just been the spark of my dream. It's it's great, and also the fact that it's very different. The fact that the audience sort of walks around to see each different scene, and it's not just the typical on a stage. It was so, so it was mesmerising. You really kind of went with them. It was yeah. you kind of followed the journey. It was you got shivers in every room. Honestly, yeah, you really got into like, the war experience. It was nice being on a personal level with them as well, like very close and personal. Yeah, I did. I enjoyed it immensely, actually. Um, I've not been to anything that's been that kind of different before, where it's been a walk around, immersive kind of experience, and I really did enjoy it. Brilliant. Yeah, and I thought all the kids were fantastic. Thank you, it was absolutely amazing. We used to live at Mitten and right behind Grandma's house, isn't it? Yeah, so it was all quite meaningful. Yeah.